Let's try our best in the Soden Impossible Challenge yet again. If you're unaware how this challenge works, uh, we will be forced to level one. We will have uh, zero HP, which means any amount of damage instantly kills us. Um, if... If we make it that far, uh, the way that this works is we are playing Bounty Hunter, which means the only way for us to really progress is to find familiar cards. Those familiar cards then tell us which enemies have Vlad Relics, and then we farm those Vlad Relics until we win. So not only will we, will we be forced to uh, kill things, uh, we're going to be forced to do so with bad equipment, because all of the good equipment essentially is banned. We'll see how it goes. And as of right now, we are live. Are we allowed to save? No. No saving. If you were allowed to save, then this challenge would have been over a long time ago because you just save at every save station and just keep going. The whole point is that you reset the run and reset all of the stats and stuff. Oh yeah, speaking of stats, the enemies uh, have randomized stats. Bro, this is impossible? Yes, it is. So you have higher defense than normal? Okay. I'm getting quicker at reading these uh, stat stuff, things that pop up. I probably shouldn't have risked just kicking that zombie in case it was immune to punches. But if it is immune to punches, that doesn't mean it's immune to kicks. Hiya. Oh, fuck. Here we go. I mean, the only thing that makes this challenge not instantly impossible is the fact that we are allowed to use spells. Honestly. Another thing important to note about Bounty Hunter is that items do not spawn on the map. He didn't get knocked back? What the fuck? Well, you know, it'd be like that <laughs> new seed, everybody. Time for a new seed. Normally when you punch the wargs, they go eh, and they back up a little bit. I don't know what I just didn't do enough damage, I guess. Was I just critting before? Because that's another thing that sucks is I don't know if I'm critting the, the enemies or not and how much damage I'm doing from crits uh, until we find the relic that lets us see how much damage we're doing. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Let's just uh, boot up the next seed. Now that we see how uh, stupid this challenge is, let's do a new seed. Pog champ. Yeah, Devil plus Durandal is the uh, glitchless strat for Dawn of Sorrow speedruns. Man, maybe I should have learned glitchless instead of this stupid freaking no memory corruption route. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm sure that route also has its own share of annoying sections. At least Dawn of Sorrow, any percent uh, no memory corruption is, like, quicker. So, like, if you die to some bullshit, it, the, it's over faster. Glitchless has more farming? How much farming do you need in Glitchless? Oh, I guess you need Paranoia, right? And Paranoia requires those three souls, right? So I guess you're right, yeah. This fight is normal. Uh, I mean, I'm one hit away from dying during the prologue, so. But other than that, yeah, like, oops, I'm cheating. Uh, other than that, the, the, like, stat randomizer doesn't work in the prologue. Fuck me. Even with lower defense, he must have higher health, then. Because we don't know the health of the enemies, unfortunately. Those That stat is also randomized. Okay. okay. It's four hits to kill a warg. I should probably be using summon spirits, maybe. In the next room, I will, I think.
Axe armor is required in glitchless? Really? Huh. Oh yeah, because it's part of the thing. And you also do need Ukebek, yeah. I forgot that those are the three pillars. It's the clown, it's the Ukebek, and it's um, Axe armor. Gotcha. Either way. Yeah, Dawn of Sorrow is a very silly game. For silly people, like myself. We did it! We made it past uh, PB for today. Let's go. Alright, let's see what this guy has. Okay, heart refresh. Oops. And meal ticket. If it was a library card, I would have done it, I think. Leapstone to start is interesting. That gives us access to Colosseum early, which may or may not actually help us. Yeah, let's not die to this guy. Summon spirit, please murder this fucking fool. Thank you. Oops. Yeah, I'm spamming summon spirits, so what? If spamming summon spirits is illegal, send me to jail. What, it, I'm sorry, I'm, it is illegal? Shit. Baby seed, yeah. I should probably kill this guy, actually. It was risky, but, like, I need item drops to, like, progress. <laughs> so, and we can't get items any other way other than killing enemies. This dude got buffed defense? Come on, man. Bro, this summon spirit is drunk. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to risk dive kicking off of the Spittlebone either. Okie dokie. Will these fuckers be immune to Tetra Spirit? If so, I am probably screwed. Uh oh. What are you doing up there? Okay, that's one down. Okay, we're good. Not even scared for a second. Easy mode. I don't trust those fuckers. Now, let's see what this guy does. Lower defense. Could mean that we kill them with punches faster than we do with, um... Summon spirit. Oh, it's not worth, it's not worth, it's not worth, it's not worth. Fucking terrifying. These guys in particular are very, um, annoying. Just because of the way their hitboxes work. Why has everybody, like, got so much defense? Can we talk about this? Stop with the defense. S Summon Spirit, where are you going? Son of a... Please hit the guy! Dude, Axe Armors are the most annoying fuckers because of this. I'm just gonna fucking get in their face and punch them. I don't even care anymore. Well, maybe not that guy, because he can just walk me into the ledge and then I die. Can I hit his feet? Yes? Maybe this is better because it's like less likely that I attack the axes because, I don't know, reasons? Please no Spittlebone, please no Spittlebone. Ah! Oh no, oh no, they're, they're fucking caging me in! Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, if you take too long in that room, the spittle bones come back around and fucking close in on you. All right, well. Die. <laughs> okay, we have we have sub weapons. Was it worth wasting all of my hearts on that one axe? Probably not. Please fucking die. Jesus. I'm tired of these goddamn axe knights. Okay, this guy dies in one hit, assuming we didn't just crit there. It's good to know. Okay. Oh, I have double jump. I have double jump. I normally don't have double jump at this point. Stay away from me. Oh, no. Oh, they resist. Oh, no. The, the dolls resist the spells. Shit. I shouldn't have used all of my shit. And that's a familiar card. I need that. Bro, the dolls are so fucking buff. This is a problem. For sure. Can these two just leave? They have a chance of just leaving, right? They just leave? Oh, but this one stayed. Okay. I know one of them leaves the, the screen like every time. Oh, you left as well? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to touch her spirit, I think. Oh, I would touch her. This is where I would touch her spirit if I could, but I'm scared. Okay. There we go. And hearts for good measure. Okay. Oh, okay. Dude, this is stressful. Heart card is Stone Rose. Well, we can actually go kill a Stone Rose right now. You're telling me there's 120,000 points on us not finding a Vlad Relic? Do I destroy the economy right here, right now? By going to farm that Stone Rose? I mean, I have to get there, and I have to not die along the way, which is not trivial. If Stone Roses resist, then we might be screwed. Oh, it's 132k. My bad, my bad. I do want to try and see if I can quickly check this relic. If it's possible to check this relic, we are in a really good spot. Because we can grab the warp as well. Grabbing the warp is scary, but we can try and grab the warp, library card, and then do other stuff. So, like, going to Stone Rose right now is, like, technically not super viable. Like, it's not optimal, is what I mean. Familiars are banned? Uh, they are not, actually. Good point. Although Sword Bro is essentially useless. Like, he don't do shit. Not until he's leveled up, at least. But although leveling up Sword Bro could be useful, it's possible. All right, let's see it. Okay, they die in one hit from this, unless I just crit him. No, we're good. We're good. Okay, we don't need that. Head empty, spinning in his lane. True, true, true. Okay, we need to get past Hammer Bro and Blade. Ideally. Because getting this warp now will save us a lot of time later and a lot of stress trying to get through uh, certain areas. So it's one stressful encounter for the sake of saving more stressful encounters later. The issue is, is I need mana. I need enough mana to try and Hellfire, I think. I just can't fuck up the Hellfire input. It's that simple. Just don't fuck up the Hellfire input and you'll be fine. Smiley face. Go. Not even close. <clears throat> We're fine. 
I was not scared for even a second. It was fine. Okay, now we're gonna library card. Uh... Um, dude, the book is like possible to get, but also would be terrible for us to try and get. I'm interested in this. Mm. I'm interested in this. Cube of Zoe. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, we have hearts, uh, or we have a sub weapon, so hearts are actually really useful. Can I find a big heart to farm for a second, maybe? No? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nope. Because having access to holy damage is pretty good. Is it holy and cut? I think it is. Okay, that guy's dead. How many hits is it to kill these guys? That was with a crit, I think. Mm. I'm gonna check the relic first and then I'm gonna come back and see if I can do a, 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 a strat versus these um, books. Because if I set up the books in a way where I kill them with a dive kick, I'm pretty safe. And I can get a relic for free. Summon Spirit has the, um, like, hit type damage element. It's the same as, like, your fists. You can think of the Summon Spirit as me summoning a fist from the sky to fly at them. It does the same type of damage. The only it difference is that it uses my intelligence as, like, the base damage. As opposed to my strength. Just de-boost? Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Okay, I one-shot them with my fist, which means I can dive kick off them pretty safely. It seems like. And this is Spirit Orb. Spirit Orb is useful, but not so useful that I'm willing to risk my life for it. Okay. Let's try this again. And I'm triple-checking that my fist one-shots. Making sure I'm not just getting lucky with crits. Okay. <sighs> Scary, but, you know, we'll be fine. And we are rewarded with basically nothing. Okay. I am locked at level one. It technically says I'm level 511, but that's because of the amount of experience I have. So as you can see, I have 81 experience total, and I need like 10 billion to level up, so we're not going to level up during this challenge at all. We are hard locked at level 1, and my stats stay the same at level 1 the entire time. Because if you were allowed to level, this challenge wouldn't be easy. Or, or sorry, it would be too easy. Like, that's the whole point. The whole point is to make a challenge that's actually challenging. Granted, I am spamming spells, but you know. Until I find a weapon. If I found a weapon, this wouldn't be a problem. But we have had zero drops from enemies so far. Which is uh, uncharacteristic for this type of challenge. Normally we get at least something. Sword Bro's trying his best. How are these guys looking? That's a one shot. Okay. Ah. Scary. Thief mode from the Aria tournament. <sighs> he didn't die from a double hit there? It's crazy. I'm just going to skip this guy. I'm hoping for item drops from enemies, but they're just not giving me item drops. So fuck me, I guess. I don't trust this fucker with his barrel. So far, none of the enemies have been immune to hit type damage, so we're been, we've been okay. As soon as we find someone immune to hit type damage, it's kind of over. It's one of the reasons why I'm testing all these enemies with the spell. It's because it does the same type of damage as my fist. So I can't just like go up and punch an enemy, assuming it'll kill. Because that's how you end up dead. Fuck me. Wait, huh? 
Oh, no. That means we have to go through fucking... Oh, Castle Keep is the next relic. Shit. Also, why is my tra map tracker not working? Does anyone know? What happened? Did, the, did, like, a recent update break the map tracker or something? Like a recent randomizer update? Yeah, uncursed candles don't give you an item because there are no item spawns in the game, uh, Fep. Oh no, they're immune. Oh no. This is so bad for us that blue Medusa heads are immune to hit type damage. This is really bad. I do have... Oh, and they have... They don't die in one hit from a fucking... Oh, shit. Okay. Well, Clock Tower is going to be... Uh, impossible. This is really bad. Can I just get, like, any weapon? Like, anything. I'll take literally anything. Anything other than just fucking spells and fisting, please. Thank God the AI in this game is doo-doo ass. This guy also absorbs holy, so I can't even use my sub weapons on him. Love that for us. Get that ass down here. Nice and easy. Now, uh, we live in fucking hell. Our, I need to know if gold Medusa heads are also immune. I can't touch the water either. Dude, this is a fucking nightmare. There's still a two hit though. Okay, well. I just gotta use the spells for invincibility. To get through. Okay. Oh my fucking god, what a nightmare. Don't touch me. Zweihander. No! Fuck! I needed that. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Damn. What a piece of shit. <laughs> Just give me any weapon there and I'm fine. Whatever. Let's let's start over. All right. More impossible challenge, I guess. Whatever. Damn. If I just... <sighs> Getting that uh, item drop was really clutch, and then it just didn't matter. It just didn't matter, because we got screwed over by uh, the, the, the Medusa head. I don't think there was much we could do there other than try and spam invincibility with spells, but we only have so many spells. I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. Hydro stuff. Hydro stuff. Okay, nice. Sub weapon. Disappeared. Keep letting it ride. Oathbreaker, I don't know what to tell you. But I would be careful. I'd be careful. The roulette wheel has to roll a zero eventually. VIP or ramen. Fair enough. Okay. 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 Oh 
I'm gonna play it a little safe versus these wargs. Especially with the infinitely spawning zombies, I don't want to fuck shit up too bad. Part of me wonders if it's worth farming these zombies just to see what their drops are. Well, I still can. This might be worth. This might be a viable strategy. The zombies should have two separate uh, drops. And getting any item early could be a difference maker. I think we're maybe getting unlucky. I, it's hard to tell. Because I, I think technically you can have enemies whose items are disabled. Like, at least one of their drops is basically nothing. I could be wrong, though. I wanted to try this strat at least once to see if I liked it at all. And I'm starting to think that maybe it's not worth it. It's already been four minutes. Okay, we'll go until five minutes, and if we don't get a single drop, then we leave. I mean, I'm supposed to have 99 luck, which increases my chance of getting some draw. Oh. I think Chakram's banned, right? I guess we've never had a Chakram drop before, so we don't know if it's banned. We haven't thought about it. Chakram is very powerful for a challenge like this. Let's not ban it and see how I feel about it. Maybe. Uh, zombies have two different drops. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Chakra might be too powerful. It does have a downside, uh, which is that if you throw it out, you have to wait for it to come back before you can use it again. But is that really a downside? I don't know. Let's just try it and see how far we get with it. It seems really powerful for now. It does cut damage, so if we find anything that resists cut damage, obviously that's a problem. I don't know. Use it until it gets patched or banned. So true. Yo, empty hand, my favorite weapon in the game. <laughs> Second empty hand. Let's fucking go. God? He's giving me a sign that this is the time that we finish the challenge. Uh, let's go. We don't have a lot of MP. We only have 30 MP to work with. So we can't just wing smash whenever we want. But. I'm interested in that. You know? <laughs> Farewell for now. We can still wing smash a little bit. As a treat. Dude, they're not even one-shotting the books. Yeah, I think Chakra might just be okay. Especially at level one. Ban Soul of Bat. Nah, we're good. Okay, I'll take a cube of Zoe. It basically only matters because of sub-weapons, but you know. Sub-weapons could be nice. Okay, we got a crit there. Okay. Or not? Am I critting or... No, I am critting. Okay. Maybe Chakram has a high crit rate or something? Because certain weapons do have higher crit rates than others. I need that. What do I want to do? Okay, I do kill them with the Chakram. Good to know. Let's check the I card. 
Plate Lord. Oh. That's such an annoying target. But we can technically do that. There's one in the Coliseum. Let's just get out of here. Before this becomes a problem. Yeah, it's the one with the iron ball. I don't think there's a reason to go straight to Coliseum first. Let's check um, Bat first. Or sorry, Fire of Bat first. Bro. Yeah, Chakram is very powerful. I think there's enough downsides to consider not banning it, but... You are immune to nothing, thank God. Medusa heads that are immune to nothing, let's fucking go. Love that for us. There are blind spots to it, but we'll see. To be fair, Chakram is basically just doing the same thing I would be doing with Summon Spirit, but faster, which is one of the reasons why I think it might be okay, but I don't know. Is there a weapon that does three effects? Not that I'm aware of. Let's see. I believe so, because it's like, what? cut plus an element is the most you ever get on any sort of an attack I'm pretty sure I'll take a leap stone uh, we're not going this way though clock tower feels like how to die summon spirit can't be spammed it literally can be you can summon spirit to the point where you're invincible for like 5 or 10 seconds at a time and there's still the downside of I have to wait for the chakrams to come back before I can throw them again. Yeah, I, I think you're just wrong on this one, JB, unfortunately. Where do we want to go? I guess we go call him now. I think it's fine for now. Like, I think this is one of the better weapons that are possible to find. But, like... I don't know. Do we want to ban all throw weapons? Because then at that point, the only thing I'm allowed to use is my fists. And, like, swords. That are shitty. And, like, clubs. Like, if we're getting fucked up on, on thinking that this is OP, I don't even want to... I don't know. Like, are, are you seeing what I'm dealing with here? It's still... Look at the fucking hitbox on this shit. It's, I can't even fucking kill this shit. You know what? We're wing smashing. Yeah, and I'm not going to find it on every run anyways. Exactly. It does help make runs feel a little bit more special when you find something that's, like, actually usable. That's kind of the point of the challenge as well, is to have the random element actually matter. I'm only arguing because it's being called impossible. JB, like, do you understand what clickbait is? If I thought this challenge was actually impossible, I wouldn't waste my time with it. The whole point is to call it impossible and then finally finish it after like the course of like a month or something and be like, dude, we finally did it. Holy shit. Like that's the whole point. Come on. You you know better. Streamer is using uh, inflammatory language to get people excited about a thing. 
Yeah, that's like that's like the whole fucking that's the job. That's the job description. What you mean? Am I crazy? Yeah, exactly. It's impossible. Oh, 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 oh. Duh. Uh. <laughs> like, it's still any mistake and I die. That is the, the, the thing about this challenge, so. I'm not too stressed about it. I should be actually summoning my bat friend for help. Heart card. Fish head. Well, the only way we can farm that is if we find holy symbol. So we're going to need the snorkel in order to beat this seed. Doubters, I hate to inform you, but I think we're going to go farm Plate Lord. Now that Plate Lord is better. Plate Lord is better. Ah! Well, they're immune to Slash, so what do you want from me? <laughs> Doesn't look too overpowered now, does it? <laughs> Can we? Please, thank you. What up, Minoki? That's kind of how I feel, yeah. Like, if spells are allowed, then, like, you know. Uh, the Plate Lord's on the other side. Like, this challenge without spells would be, like, so annoying. Just walk to the left. Nothing crazy. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Now, where's the Plate Lord again? More annoying than difficult or challenging? Yeah, welcome to Symphony of the Night Challenge Runs. They're all like this. Ah! Never mind. Goddamn fucking owl. Where the fuck is that Plate Lord, by the way? He's on the other side of that owl night? Like, you didn't even kill the owl in one hit, and you guys are saying that shit's overpowered? Nah, I'm, I'm not banning the chakra. That shit is weak as hell. Nah. You guys are you guys just want me to do this with, like, a, a stick and chewing gum and be like, do it! Do it now, streamer! You, no items! No items allowed! Yeah, nice soul of bat. Completely wasted. All right, let's try one more seed, I think. All right. I need to focus up. Just focus up. No more mistakes. No more uh, dying to dumb. But sometimes you do actually die to dumb now that I think about it. Because, like, that is the thing about regular Soden that makes it um, easier to do a no-hit challenge is that you should be able to figure out how much damage you're doing versus enemies. But with the enemy stat randomizer, you now have to, like, test each enemy. And then you also don't know if you crit them or not unless you have Spirit Orb. So it actually makes it a lot harder to judge how to 
handle certain situations. It's one of the reasons why spamming summon spirit is so important. It's because you never have a 100% guarantee to know whether or not an, uh, a certain attack is going to kill an enemy for the first time. And if you're wrong, you just die. So. Is Spirit Orb required? I mean, it's a nice thing to have, for sure. Because it gives me some certainty in how much damage I'm doing, but... Not even necessarily required, because enemy health is randomized, so... Even then, I can still have situations where I don't know how much health an enemy has. So I can only speculate. Like right there, that was a two shot, but is it because I crit or is it because it's actually a two shot? It seems like it's actually a two shot. Or maybe I just crit twice, who knows? Seems likely that it's just a two shot. All right, do we want to do the zombie farm again? That seems pretty useful. I'm not going to lie. A little bit closer. This is the first challenge run that seems challenging in an interesting way. Um, we've done a few challenge runs that I think are interesting. Uh, but I think it mostly comes down to, like, modding the game. Like, some of the scripts Weecock has cooked up have been interesting, in my opinion. At least from a standpoint of, like, figuring out how to finish the game, so. Have we gotten hit immune wargs yet? I think one of the first seeds we did was hit immune wargs. So it's happened, for sure. Also, this is attempt number 23, is it not? I think I forgot to change the attempt counter, so I'll change that in a second. Because this is the third attempt today, and we started at 20. Man. I don't think we're going to get a drop, y'all. So I thought the drop rate for these guys was pretty common at 99 luck, but apparently not. Like hard type? I mean, yeah, well... You know, I'm going to give it like 30 more seconds, probably. Because relying on a weapon drop from these guys, oh, it's a shield. All right, well, I'm not going to sit there and try and farm their other drop. Wow, shield rod? That'd be great if I could use it. Hard mode mods be like you only deal one damage to Galamoth? Yeah, you're telling me. Look, I mean, people who make mods for games, they have a very specific vision that they're looking to try and recreate inside of a video game that they already like. So I try not to be too mean when people make, like, ROM hacks and stuff like that, but sometimes there is a vision that I think tends to follow the idea of what if I made this annoying instead of like challenging in a fun way? Cause you can make challenge anything challenging in a very annoying way, making something challenging, but also fun, very difficult. Why am I not banning shield rod? What? Why not only ban shield rod special? Just out of uh, consistency. Also, Shield Rod is better than Chakram, yes. You guys overrate Chakram by an insane amount just because it's a throwable weapon. Is this guy immune? Yeah, he absorbs hit type damage. So we have to figure out how we're going to deal with this red skeleton. Look, I'm not going to take your balancing advice again. Like I said earlier, you guys don't know shit about this video game and haven't done like any challenge runs. Like, How many of you guys can consistently even finish a randomizer? Like, why would I take advice from you guys? Come on. Chakram is way overrated by casuals, just because it's like a thing you can throw out. Chad doing tricks on Chakram. It's really not that good. 
It's the same meme as like, no, the heaven sword's so good. It's a sword you can throw. And if you have two of them, Gravity boots? Oh shit, I forgot. You guys got me distracted again. I told myself I wasn't gonna get distracted. But chat having wrong opinions d distracts me. I can't help it. Chakram doesn't suck. It's better than a lot of weapons, but it's way worse than shield rod. Just vanilla shield rod without the shield rod effects is still better. Because one, it does more damage, and two, it's a weapon you can actually control, unlike the Chakram, which is an unwieldy piece of shit. Also, Shield Rod can double hit, which is another reason why it's just banned outright. I'm trying to ban basically anything that can double hit. Chakram can double hit, but like, whatever, man. But don't worry, we're never going to see the Chakram again in this challenge anyway, so we never have to worry about it. Chakram is good in the Dracula fight. Any Your fists do about as much damage as Chakram because fists also attack 5 billion times into Dracula because Dracula is a giant hitbox. Yeah, that's how it works for every weapon in the game that multi-hits. I'm getting distracted by your bad opinions again. I need to stop. What is he doing? Don't go after the fireball, you dumbass! Tribute. You steal men's souls and make them Face of case, thank you very much. Okay, now we're out of mana. This could be a problem. So Sagra, I think, resists hit type damage. Is that why he's not dead yet? Okay. Scary. Okay, we're so fucking back. Soul of Bat, it's like it never left. We're fine. We're fine. We still have to deal with the fact that we don't really have MP, but whatever. Whee! Uh, whatever. I should have tested out to see how much damage I do versus these guys, actually. Because this could be a problem. Seems to be a two hit. It seems like it says they're weak to fist. But I don't want to test it because it seems like they have a high HP. Because usually your fist does less damage than summon spirit. It's about the same. On average. But I don't want to risk it. How do I want to get through this room, actually? Maybe I just wait for the spittle bone and then fly across the bottom? No, that's actually kind of risky. Nice summon spirit hitbox. Fucking spittle bones, man. Please die. Thank you. I do need intelligence. That would be nice. An item that increases my intelligence would be great. Um, there's like a couple different routes we can take, and honestly, I don't know what's best. What a Mendo.
How are the dolls? They resist hit type damage, which is always annoying. But if this relic is nothing, we can just skip. Oh, it's a merman statue. We might need that. And we have the snorkel as well. So, like, that makes that area pretty safe overall for us, but... Okay, you leave. Where'd the other one go? Okay, the other one's here. Wow, life apple. Too bad it's banned. Now, here's the question. What if I just grabbed um, the Relic at Gravity Boots and then left? Maybe? Like, library card? To try and do as many Relic checks as quickly as possible? Sword Familiar is banned, too? No, it's not. Like, the Sword Familiar sword would be, yes. But the Familiar itself, no. But that would require me to get the sword familiar to level 50. It's free, I'll grab it. Okay. I still think the correct play is we should grab this warp whenever possible. Even if we don't plan on using it right away. Oops. So I'm going to go to All Rox's quarters. I have Soul of Bat, so I can just fly across the um, hammer and blade room. Eight damage, you say. Wow, $400. This is going to take forever. I mean, if I saw $400 in real life, I'd be pogging. If I saw $400 in Soden, I'm like, eh. Especially in this challenge when the shop has nothing. Okay. We do want to actually use the Soul of Bat if we have access to it, you know? I do wish I had more MP. That would be nice. Oh, no! Okay, this is a disaster. We can just come back when we find Form of Mist, hopefully, but that's bad. Minotaur and Werewolf is not a fight I want to do right now. We'll come back. I think we touch our spirit this guy. Son of a fuck. Okay. Yeah, exactly. If Minotaur resists hit, it's over. Because we don't have any other options. Like, it's too risky to try Minotaur Werewolf right now. Okay. Now we should pretty safely be able to library card. Well, I say safely, but you know. You know how this challenge is. Nothing is actually safe. Believers are getting scammed. If I fight Minotaur and Werewolf right now, there's like a 0.0001% chance I actually 
defeat them, so no, I'm good. No relic here, that's annoying. Looks like this is a real one shot. Oh, they have 16 uh, health, and I did 16 with the summon spirit. Only 15 with my fist. Oh, 17 with the summon spirit now. Whoa, fancy. Son. Uh. Life Apple. Why am I getting Life Apple drops from these enemies when that shit's banned? Every item drop we've gotten so far has been banned. There's so many dog shit weapons in this game, like fucking Bekatawa or fucking... Like, literally so many dog shit weapons. Instead, it's like, mm, here's a Life Apple. I can't use that. Oh, I need that. This is bad. All right, let's just fucking go. Try and speed run this shit. So the books don't kill us. I mean, Caverns is fine because we have the snorkel. Like, it's scary, but it's not, like, literally the end of the world. The snorkel helps a lot. Scylla will actually be fucking terrifying if I don't find something to use. Because if I Tetra Spirit Scylla and she's fucking immune to that shit, it's actually fucking over. Is Ring of Arcana banned? No, it's not. In fact, uh, I have one equipped right now. You start with the Ring of Arcana equipped. Ring of Varda is banned, however. I shouldn't have said it. Fuck me. Of course there's a Ring of Varda there as soon as I say that shit. Uh, whatever, man. This game is fucking bullying me. Okay. Some of the fucking ass shit. Fuck. Fucking Medusa! Focus. Okay. We are fine. Eldridge, thank you for the raid. Uh, welcome to whatever the fuck this is. The Impossible Challenge, a.k.a. Everything Sucks. We did get Soul of Bat, and you might be thinking to yourself, Soul of Bat? That's overpowered. Surely you win this challenge for free, right? Spike Breaker is actually kind of nice. You know, why? literally no reason not to put it on. Does anybody do spike-type damage in the uh, uh, randomizer, Eldritch? Enemy randomized to spike-type damage, perhaps? Makes Clock Tower a bit less scary. I disagree. The question is, it's like, do we do Clock Tower or do we go to the caverns? Uh, I think the answer is we go to the caverns, so. Also, Eldritch, do you have any idea why my map tracker isn't working? For, this is the second seed I've tried, or uh, the other seed I tried earlier didn't work either, so. It just removes the entities, it doesn't prevent damage, shit. No idea. Was Soden.io like updated recently? Cause I haven't changed any of my stuff, so I don't, and I haven't updated the tracker. So I don't know why it's not working. You haven't updated Soden.io? Then I have no clue why it's not working then.
It's really weird. Because it was working, like, what, yesterday? Did I do any randomizers yesterday? Well, it was working last time I was doing randomizers. Whenever that was. The thing about this challenge is I'm always like triple, like, what's the word? I was gonna say triple guessing myself. I'm just always concerned about where to go next. Especially when I don't get any weapon drops that I'm allowed to use. So it's like, do I go fight Succubus with no backup plan if she's immune to fists? I don't know. Seems like a bad idea. But that's kind of the issue for like every boss fight. If they have an immunity to um, hit type damage, then like, what am I going to do? Wing Smash is hit type damage as well which is basically the same exact issue that we're already running into. Plus, these fuckers do not mess around. Right, reset the room. I don't think we can safely fight Succubus. And I don't think we could safely fight Scylla either. We just don't have the damage for it. I think the only thing we can do down here safely is to uh, check down here. I say safely, but I still have to deal with this shit. You're safe if you stand right here, right? I don't remember if you get hit by any of the bats in particular spots. I think you're safe if you're right here. I'm pretty sure you're safe. You thought I was a SpongeBob speedrunner? Classic mistake. People get me mixed up with uh, uh, Milk Bob all the time, but no, that's just my friend. Me and Milk Bob, we go way back. Just waiting it out. You have the J go in the water? I'm good. Well, this does nothing for us. Okay. I think you can still get hit in the water by these guys, depending on where you're at. Yeah, they can go in the water. I'm just trying to minimize the amount of time I have them on screen, so. There we go. Tribute. You steal men's souls. Owen, thank you very much for the tier one. I appreciate the support. What? what are you doing? You're off screen. That's fucking cheating. <laughs> Fuck you, lady. Jesus. Uh, gas cloud is poison damage, I'm pretty sure. So. Well, now what do I do? 
Like, we got nothing from that. We don't have any other weapons. Like, I just need a weapon drop more than anything else before I can even consider fighting any bosses. Because I need a backup of some different sort in case they're immune. I can't risk, like, fighting a boss and having it be immune to, to fists right now. There's a bowman that I can farm at the top of caverns. Yeah, but what if it doesn't drop anything, you know? That's kind of an issue. What is this frog doing? Stay down there. Is it worth going through all of the frogs and frozen shades to try and get a relic? I think so. Because I'm running out of relics to check anyways. So... Yeah. That shield is not helpful. I could wing smash through, but I am scared of dropping a wing smash. Good froggy. Ooh, bad froggy. Get me out of there. Hell no. Alright, we have to deal with what? Like three frozen shades? The issue with them is their AI activates immediately as soon as they're on screen. Maybe I should have just wing smash through and said, fuck it, if I drop a wing smash, I lose. But I only have three wing smashes, which isn't enough to get all the way through, I don't think. <laughs> Damn. Because each wing smash costs eight. I only have 30 MP. Sam. Oh well. Yeah, that seed was pretty fucked. To be fair, every seed is fucked because I just need a weapon at some point. So, like, I think no matter what, I need to start farming for weapons. Uh, which might be a little annoying, but it is what it is. Oh well, we'll get them next time, maybe, possibly. <sighs> Damn.